If you die today, would you die with regret? It's a tough question. It's the question I needed to ask myself exactly one year ago when one of my closest friends died. My friend died and it made me face a really tough introspective truth that I wasn't really even living. I had become complacent in my own life. I hated the state of my body. I was always mentally fatigued and I was slowly giving up on all my dreams. I was filled with grief and faced with a choice. I could have his death mean nothing to me or I could make a vow to him. A vow that I would fix the things in my life that needed fixing. So that's what I did. I wrote down five things that I knew I wanted to change in my life and I vowed to do them. First one of five, be more adventurous. As we get older, we tend to stick to the things we know. TV, fast food, and the mundane routines of the everyday. We get stuck in a loop. And before we know it, we wake up one day regretting not doing more with our lives. I knew I was lacking adventure in my life. I want to live a life that's open to adventure, to challenge, to change. So to cement this brand new, no regrets philosophy into my life, I did something I've been meaning to do for quite some time. Rent a sports car and a helicopter for the day and see Cape Town from all her angles. Life is not helicopters and sports cars every single day, of course. But making time for the things you want to do before you die, that, I believe, is the point of living. Create a healthy body. This one's gonna be exceptionally difficult. I drink too much beer and I eat way too many burgers. I decided to get a trainer to help push me in the workout and help me with the diet. This is going to suck. Climbing Devil's Peak sounds fun, and it is sort of probably if you're not unfit like me. It's been really good for me, and I can really feel my brain chemistry changing. It's not about having a six pack, but caring for the one body you were given. Make time for loved ones. If there's one thing that really hit me like a freight train, it was the painful realization that I would never get to see my friend in person ever again. I just realized how many postponed catch-ups we've had just due to life and us both being busy. We need to make time for the people that we care about because you will look back on your life and all the times you canceled and you will regret it every single time. One of my best friends, Hannes, lives all the way in Scotland and I haven't seen him in person for nearly three years now. It was time that that changed. So tickets bought and travel plans set, we were off to Scotland. It was truly one of the best trips I've ever had. Catching up with Hannes was so much fun. 
sharing laughs in person and just being able to spend some time with someone that I really care about, it made it all so worth it. Dealing with anxiety for many years, I finally did something that I never thought I would do. I began going to therapy. Make mental health a priority. For years, I was someone that didn't understand therapy, and I really leaned into the stigma that therapy is for the weak. But I cannot overstate this enough. Therapy is for the brave. Speaking about the things that you truly struggle with and being honest with yourself, it can be really tough, but it makes you strong. I spoke about the things that I was genuinely struggling with, how to deal with death being one of them. Life is so busy, it can just be overwhelming sometimes. So I booked us a weekend in the mountains where we would get a genuine detachment from life. No signal, no internet, and no power. It was a long drive, but it was one of the most enriching experiences of my life. Do what you love. I began doing things purely for the money and it truly drained me. I was working as a full-time wedding videographer for five years and I truly didn't enjoy it. I needed to finally take the leap of faith and start my creative journey. So that's what I did. I closed my wedding videography business for good. Today I run a creative production company with my partner it took me one year to change my life. I was lucky to have this year. I am lucky to still be here. So let me ask you this. If you were to die today, would you die with regret? I know my answer. Do you know yours?